Hi guys, it's Joni here at Joni's Journals. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, welcome to all of my new subscribers. A big welcome back to all of my existing subscribers. I hope everyone is having fun um, with the, uh, oh, I almost said Crafty June, Creep on June uh, collaboration. Um, uh, there are a lot of people out there who seem to be taking part. Um, I will add all of the links in the description box below for the kit, um, for the calendar, and what else? Oh, and Tracy's website because she's got some new, er, brand new, well, not brand new anymore because it's been a while. I've been sick. Um, she's got some new freebies on there and go over and check out the Craftly Halls freebie box. And yeah. Grab your freebies, grab your kits, and play along. Um, it is currently, uh, it is currently day four, but I am pre-recording this, and this video will come out on day six because I, as I said in my video um, from a couple of days ago, that I will not dull anyone's shine. I will not post a video for the day that the maker is making on the same day that the maker is making. Um, it, it's just rude. Uh, I would never do that to anyone. Um, and I spoke with Tracy and she said, of course, play along. But I promised her and I'm sticking to that promise that I will not post the day's make on the day that the maker is making. I wouldn't want anyone to do that to me. And so I would never do that to anyone else. So today being technically day six, I am going to show you my make for day four, and we are going to make a make for day five. Um, so yeah, here is my day four, and as you know, I've been adding the little blurb to all of my makes, and I have been expanding upon the story um, based on the blurb. And so that again is what I have done for here for today, which is day four. And here's my little number four there. And so today's blurb is in the spring of 1864, the doctor is killed in one of the outbuildings. Now, if you remember on day three, uh, <laughs> in the early spring of 1863, work began on the building of what was to later become Craftley Hall, a doctor and his wife later take residence. So, unfortunately for him, on day four, he dies. <laughs> I know, it, I don't mean to be laughing, but day three, he's moving into his new house, and on day four, boom, there he goes. <laughs> but anyway... So, <laughs> in the spring of 1864, the doctor is killed in one of the, out, the outbuildings. And so what I did, if you know, it was a little envelope. And so um, I tend to be making my makes a day ahead of everyone's because I don't want to be influenced. Um, I will grab influences from other people and I will... Um, steal some ideas, borrow some ideas might be the better way to say it, but I tend to do day four on day three, day three on day two, I'll do day five on day six, I mean, day five on day four, it, it just so that I don't, I don't want to, I, uh, I want to do my own thing. So I took my little envelope, I added my blurb to the back of it or the front of it, whichever you would prefer, and then on the back, I made one of the little windows. Everyone's been making those little camera lenses. So you can see I am borrowing other people's ideas. And inside of this, I used uh, the Tim Holtz um, cracked windows. Of, I don't remember what it's called. It came out last year um, for his uh, Halloween make. And so I snatched up a couple of packages. And so inside of my cracked window which is actually a camera lens, I have put a little photo of things that are on a shelf. There seems to be a little, probably a possum and a little owl. And I took that as something that might have gotten into an outbuilding um, and just sort of took up residence there. 
And so, yeah, you're looking through the window just as the doctor will, which is part of what is inside of my little envelope. And I have created, if I can get it out, another little three tab bound journal. And I took the, the tag that comes for the day and I put that on the front, but I also added my own little thing that says, curiosity killed the cat, okay? And so I expanded again upon the story. And if you open my little tab journal, you'll see where my little story begins. Strolling his estate, exploring, Intrigued by what he saw through the windows, the good doctor knew he must go inside. And so this is the doctor's hat, which was what was left of him. <laughs> Sorry. You can see these, this is all again, ephemera from the kit, a little pathway past some of the outbuildings that surround Crafley Hall. And I just loved this picture and I could have cut it down but I didn't want to, so I just turned it on its side and I put it in here. And the big windows sort of peering in and or peering out of one of what might be an outbuilding. The doctor went exploring and upon peeking through the window, he knew he had to go inside. Once inside, he encountered rats, my little animals in here, and bats. Again, ephemera from the kit. Old specimen jars and tragically his death. So again, ephemera from the kit. And then I just added my own little bit to the back. Overcome with grief, his widow left the estate shortly after his demise. So yeah, I took a little, um, hmm author's liberty, <laughs> and I just expanded on the story on my own. So yeah, that's how I created my little tag to go in for day four to explain how our doctor was killed in one of the outbuildings. Now, as you can see, the little curiosity killed the cat, and everything I've done inside is my own handwriting, so it's nothing fancy. And you could copy it if you'd like and or maybe use it for your own little make and you can see I added a little charm and it's a little kitty cat for curiosity killed a cat and so that's what I made for day four and let me just tuck my little journal back into its little pocket here okay let's get you back in there come on little one there we go. And then I added, you can't really see it. I bought these little Velcros. They're so teeny tiny and they're clear. And so I just gave it a little Velcro closure. Tuck my thing in. And what I did was I added a triple seam, I guess you could call it, to the outside so that when I closed my little envelope, it would close, but that it had this little edge here so that it would fit over my tag. And I added my little kitty cat outside of the window because who else is going to look at these wonderful little rats and possums and owls inside a window but a kitty cat. So that is my make for day four. Now what I thought we could do would be to put together my day five. Okay and as you can see I have a bunch of stuff clipped here because although we're gonna make it together. I always plan things out in my head before I do them. And so you'll notice that there has been some work done. I have added a little tie closure. I've wrapped it around the top to the bottom in lieu of going around the side because I'm just grabbing this. These will all go together for my front cover. And then we have these interesting things that I wanna to add to my back covers. But I thought I'd bring you along and so you could kind of hear the ramblings of a wild woman. 
<laughs> but what I started to say was I wanted to do my closure and wrap it around from top to bottom as opposed from side to side so that it would ultimately end up like this. And yes, I've made my um, string a little long, but that's okay. And the reason that I went from top to bottom was because I created yet another little three tab. I, I'm probably calling this the wrong thing, but it's three tab um, closure. I created another little journal and I took our little blurb for the day, which says that at the beginning of May 1920, Rose and Jeffrey Binder move in. And so here are the people that I have chosen to be Rose and Jeffrey, and we'll be adding them to the front. And I took out some of the ephemera. This is a little like um, booklet that shows the estate and the, guard, the grounds around it, and a diary page, probably from Rose, dated May of 1920, and that's the back of it. I picked this ephemera fold, a little folder to be part of the kit because you can see the ghostly image of a woman walking through what is now um, an empty uh, Crafty Hall because it's 1920 and the buildings have been abandoned since 1864, so that's 36 plus 20, 56 years later. Okay, and so I did that. I added this with some pictures of Crafty Hall. And I added this tag finally, showing the empty hallways that Rose and Jeffrey might have walked through while they were exploring Crafty Hall. And so you can see, because I used one of the file folders, the little tab sticks out, and I didn't want it to interfere, and I didn't want to hurt it, because I'm going to be tucking it in there. And so by closing it from top to bottom, I have my closure, and I am not interfering with my tab or my little tag that's dangling off of it. So that is why I made my closure going from top to bottom in lieu of going from side to side. So uh, I did get ahead of us because adding this little um, fabric here, I wanted to protect it. And so I put what I wanted to be the cover tag on top of it to keep it from shifting around and for, to allow the glue to dry. But I did leave the rest for us to decorate. And what I figured we would do is we would take our picture of Rose and Jeffrey. I am saying Rose, it is Rose and Jeffrey. <laughs> oh my Lordy, I'm losing my mind. Let's just check. I'm 100% I'm sure it is. Uh, yes, Rose and Jeffrey. <laughs> okay. I wanted to take our picture of Rose and Jeffrey and just add it to the front here. And I want to add my number five down here. And... I thought that I would like it that way, but I'm not so sure. I might add my number. No, I think we'll be good. We'll add our number five there. So let's add our picture again, one more time. Joni, you're losing your mind. Let's add our picture of Rose and Jeffrey to the front of our little tag booklet. And yeah, um, I was a little bit um, upset this morning there was a lovely woman, Rhonda Winstead, um, who I have been following for a few years now. Uh, she was involved in a collab with Louisa Heinzel and Barbara from 49 Dragonflies. Her name's Rhonda Winstead, and she has been battling cancer, oh gosh, for a lot of years now. And she passed away uh, on May 30th, and I, I watched the video this morning of her husband announcing her passing. And I just, I just felt so bad. I felt relief for her. She wasn't suffering anymore. But yeah, it's, it's just still horrible when another human being um, passes away. But she is no longer suffering. And so yeah, we have to say thank goodness for that. So I did post something on Instagram. But yeah, it's just, uh, 
if I'm seeming a little silly, it's because I'm just, you know, making myself and probably all of you feel a little bit better by just being myself, who is very silly. But yeah, in the background, still thinking about Rhonda. So yeah, but okay. Let's add our number five. Now that I've, dull, I've, I've put a downer on this, let's add our little number five down here. Okay. And yes, I realize that these numbers do not match at all what we are making, but that's okay. That'll make them stand out more. So there we go. There's our little front cover. And let's open this up. And I'm going to try and bring along my little mindset of why I'm doing what I'm doing to this so that you guys maybe could kind of get an idea. I figured that once Jeffrey and, and Rose walked into the house, they would of course be exploring the corridors. And again, you can see a ghostly image of a woman here because they really have no idea what they have gotten themselves into. And you can see on the backs of my tags, I did some stenciling, uh, it's a Tim Holtz stencil um, if I remember, I will grab the number for you. I was not sure what I was doing with all of these tags yet. And what I've been doing is I've been reading the blurbs on each day and then going through the kit and going through the ephemera and pulling out what I would like to add as part of the story because I am expanding upon the story with each make and taking a little bit of a liberty. So yeah, there's our hallway. And then I had this little picture as part of the ephemera too. And in my mind, it was Rose and Jeffrey's wedding picture. And so in their heads, they can see themselves now a happily married couple moving into Craftly Hall. And so I thought that we could add their little wedding photo up and just kind of, you know, give you all an idea that yes, Rose and Jeffrey are moving into this haunted little mansion here. And so, yeah, we'll just add that picture there somewhat alongside of the image, the ghostly image of the woman. And I thought we could put that there. Now, remember, our little old journal is going to go right here. Okay. So when you open this up, you're going to see our journal. But then when you come to the back cover, you can see another little image because we do know there are ghostly children in here. And I pulled out this tag to be on the back. Okay. And so I figured we could add this here and we'll just put that one there because after living in the house for a while and experiencing all of the ghostly and creepy things that are going on in their house, you do know that um, they do come to a resolution at the end and they are e explained to by Ernest Brundle and his team who work with the local reverend, re reverend to find out what has been going on in and around Crafley Hall for all of this time. In fact, since the early, let's grab my tag one, 1665, so the late 1600s. And so these things are still going on while they're living there before the situation is resolved. And so there are little ghostly children who are walking through the home, perhaps unbeknownst to Rose and Jeffrey. And so we have their entrance to their home with their hopes of a happily married life to their existence in the home of, of being there with all of these ghosts. And of course, we have to add another photo of one of the other hallways with the little pebbles, if you can see them down here, which was another situation that rose was encountering in her home along with her cousin. And so we will add this tag to the very back of our little tag journal here. And while we are 
thinking about all of the pebbles that were dropping and the stones and all of the stones that were found piled in neat orders, perhaps by one of the children that was still existing at Crafley Hall. We also have to remember Rose's encounter with the little bureau that she couldn't get open and having moved it away from the door, she read some ghostly words. And so we'll add that in here as well on the back as if a continuation for day six, which if I make it or if we make it, that will come out more than likely on day seven or maybe day eight, depending on how things go. And so, yeah, we've created our little tag folio, which on its own would be perfectly fine because you could tell the story of Rose and Jeffrey moving into their new home with hopes and dreams as a married couple and their life, the beginning of their life there, encountering all of the ghostly children and people and all of the children with the stacking stones and Rose being told to leave. So yeah, if you wanted to do just that, that would be perfectly fine. Just go through and cut out your ephemera. But me being me, I had to add a little something. And so I created this little tab journal and I expanded on Tracy's idea of the keys. And I added a little key here so that Rose and Jeffrey had the keys to their new home. So there we go. There's my day five, which I am now going to tuck in and I am going to tie it closed by wrapping around this way, like so, and hold it tight and then wrapping around this way, like so, and then we will give a little knot here and close up our finished make or my finished make or your finished make if you want to do it the same way for, whoops, come on, Joni, day, mm, a drum roll, please, our day five. So let me put my pin in my glue before I can't get my pin in my glue. And we will grab out day five, which we just made. Where is it? Trying to do this nicely. Our day four, which can go either way. Day three, which I showed you in a video the other day. Our day two, which was in the same video. And our day one. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you'll stick around because again, we will be playing in my little Craftly Hall journal. And we'll be adding stuff from time to time as I'm cutting out ephemera and finding things that I wanna add. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, welcome again to all of my new subscribers. Um, and now that I am up and about feeling a little bit better, although I, I am still kind of struggling, um, getting my strength back, boy, that, that virus took me for a loop. Uh, I've lost my train of thought. I can't even remember what I was going to say, but we will be playing. We'll be working in this. I'll be doing a day by day. Um, I don't know that I will be doing a day by day on video, but I will be doing a day by day. And if we do it together, you'll watch, be able to watch that on video. If I do it and then I show it to you, we'll be doing that too. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I'm going to send out lots of love and big hugs and ask you to please remember to like, subscribe and comment Go on to the calendar. I will leave the link in the description box below. I believe I said that already. And watch everybody's makes from day to day. Um, I've been making my makes the day before the day that come out. I just, I, I don't want to see what anybody else makes because I want to do it on my own. <laughs> 
I might steal an idea here or there. But yeah, that's the way I'm doing it. Um, in addition, I have finally found a box that I want to use to make my little treasure box, I guess you could say, to store all of my stuff in. Um, it's compact enough for me to be able to store it. And yeah, so I might be doing that on video. You might be doing part of it with me on video. I'm not really sure how that's going to work yet. It depends on how involved I get because I do always overdo. But yeah, please remember to go over and check out everybody else's makes. If you're just coming into the game now, use that calendar. You can go back to day one, which was our beloved Tracy, um, and catch up from there. But there's a lot of awesome people that are making. My day is June 26th, and I am already scheming in my brain what I'm going to do. So yeah, thank you for watching. Love, big hugs, and I will see you soon. Take care for now. Bye-bye.